Welcome back everybody to another episode in Scum. So I'm just keeping an eye out to see if we get any zombies doing the uh, the old zombie dance in our direction, but I don't see them doing it. So we've got one fella all the way over there. And then we got one in the fields. All the way back there. Oh wait. There's the rest of them. I don't see any others. But we don't have any zombie dancing. I'm a little bit pleased about that. Now. The plan for today. Well before we get onto the plan. I want to say, um, for the last video, uh, thank you very much for all the, uh, the likes and attention and the comments, really appreciate it. And uh, Richard commented, uh, and I feel like I want to say this to all of you because I hadn't thought about it and it's actually a really useful piece of information. So I continually, continually forget to take the mask off and you can't eat. Uh, so it blurs it out. Now what he did say, what you can do, let's get rid of that, is put your mask in your hotbar. So I'm guessing what that means now is if I press 7, the mask instantly goes away and I can eat. Now whilst I'm more likely to actually just ditch the mask, because it's only a visual thing anyway, I feel like if you were wearing a mask that's um, like a gas mask or something like that, that you really wanted to keep on you, that that would be super, super handy and very, very useful. So uh, that's why I want to put it out there and uh, say what a good idea. And I had, I hadn't even crossed my mind. So thank you very, very much. Uh, now before we eat too much going to keep an eye on our stomach but we are hungry and we're thirsty and we dumped all our stuff in that truck didn't we so we have to remember that so we've got a whole host of stuff in the car back in uh the town that's sort of over there and then we've got a whole host of stuff over in the the truck that's over there now what i want to try and do so this is the plan for this episode is we need to make, uh, that'll do, that's enough pumpkin. I hear a pig. Well, I thought I heard a pig anyway. What I want to try and do um, is get some more arrows made. Yeah. Another stack. I do. I want to take the time to make. Oh, we've only got these dirty, filthy rags. There's definitely a piggy back there somewhere. What I want to do is try and get this done and at least get over to the uh, the boot camp. That's the other plan: is make some arrows, go to B three boot camp, um, before ideally the sun goes down. What's the time now? Let's have a check. Because it's going to get... Oh, I so didn't mean to press that. <laughs> Try again. There we go. Yeah, sun is going to go down in about a game and a bit hour. So I want to get over there before it's the, the sun starts to set. So I'm thinking I'm not going to spend um, too much time making really, really good arrows. I'm probably going to regret it later. And if I had more, uh, you know, daylight, then I possibly would. Now, as far as storage is concerned, and if we got, we've got drink on us, right? So let's have a drink since our character is thirsty. He's wandered through the fence all the way out there. Boot camp is that away, so we will go cross country for that because it'll be quicker. And I think by memory we should be able to jump the river. Oh, you need to pee that quick. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. Let's pee then. Let's have a pee on the roof of the garage. 
Yeah, so I think they're they're back to. I've just seen another zombie walk in between that sort of uh, just where the well and the um, statue is. Just there. See him? Right there. So I'm thinking that it's doing this circular spawning thing again. But a nice good distance, actually. And we haven't had any zombie dancing yet, so, you know. Do I want to run all the way over to the truck? Should we see if there's something? Definitely a pig. Oh, I was kind of hoping. Hmm. Gas can. I don't want to take this pumpkin with us. Take that. I'm not going to take any of that. I'm going to take the drink. Seems we're on foot. We've got a battery which says it's still got power. We've got some ammunition. Have we not got any mags? What are we doing? Loading this one by one. Oh no, we got one mag. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm gonna... We'll decide on the pumpkin after. And possibly the mask too. Although I suppose we could wear it, couldn't we? That gets rid of that. I hope we find some night vision. So, no more mucking about. What we're gonna do is we're going to... Take care of him, because he's kind of... What am I doing? Hang on. A bit higher. Ah, I got it. Did I get him? Oh, I got him then. It's like five million arrows over there. I don't think I've triggered a horde yet, have I, either? Naturally, anyway. Right, let's go and go get my arrows back. I'm not really that much better with the compound bow, am I? Let's face it. <laughs> Where was I throwing them? Bloody piggy. Right, let's go. Oh, is that broccoli? Broccoli's good for you, right? My husband calls it the devil's food, but I quite like it. Right, let's go to boot camp. We want to ideally, ideally get our hands on... Yeah, did it. I'm going to make some arrows out in this field. With my knife. Um, yeah, I really hope we find some night vision. Otherwise, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough episode. Because it gets pretty dark. Could I change the night time? I suppose I could. I suppose I could. Make it easier for you guys. I have to remember which way it goes now. One makes it a lot brighter, and One Direction makes it a lot darker, so... <laughs> and I think at the minute I've got it on default, which is still pretty dark. So, well, maybe we'll play around with that, because I don't want to... If we don't find night vision, it's going to be a pretty boring episode. Of you just looking at a black screen, for the most part. I will say this one thing that they brought in, which I think is fantastic, is the autocraft. So we're going to fill ourselves up. We're going to have the 24 arrows. We've got a melee weapon. And we've got a gun. Worst comes to the worst. Alright, let's see how many that gets us. Oh, we just need two more. Okay. This wee little bush here should do. And now, I've got the sun to go down, uh, I think it's about half eleven at night. 
and I've got, um, it's coming up at like two in the morning or something like that. So the nights are pretty short anyway. Right, there we go. I'm bound to lose one, so let's, let's just take that anyway. Now the reason I want to go in this gap here, provided we don't get eaten by a bear or a wolf. Has anybody else noticed that the wolves are quite silent right now? Like you see them howling out in the field, but you don't actually hear them howling. Oh, lag. Um, there always used to be a wolf that used to spawn this way. But there's also a hunting stand down here. And it's kind of in the direction we want to go anyway. Sort of. Well, we kind of want to go up there actually, but the hunting stand's literally right here. We'll see. There might be something useful up there. Now, apologies that I haven't put a scum and episode out for a while. This whole year has just been absolutely nuts. Every time I try and plan to do something. Oh, dodgy orange. Damn it, the mask. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll just eat all of it. We'll eat all of it. Yeah, our tummy can take it. And to be honest, we could do with it. Oh, that was quick. All right, cool. Some weird glitchy noises in my ears, then that was interesting. I should be able to drop down, hopefully, without injuring myself. Nice. Oh, wait, it's that way? Apparently, it's that way. It is this way. No. Confused peeps. I've been away too long. I was mistaken C3 town. Is this direction? I was looking at completely the wrong blob of orange then. I do know how to play this game, honest. Now we're legging it because we're taking the chance that there's not going to be a wolf, a bear, or any wild puppets. But definitely, definitely want to get there before nightfall. I see it. Now, don't forget that the mechs are off, uh, which we kind of agreed to do until they sort of sorted the puppets out. I don't know whether that's actually ever going to happen. You need to pee again. Alright, let's pee underneath the tree. I don't know why, but it makes me feel better. Alright, so the hope here, the singular hope here, I mean, anything we find like a good weapon is a bonus, to be honest. But we're on foot, so we've got to be choosy. But the, the singular hope here is that we're going to be able to get some night vision. Now, I've got the loot on three, so I think it is entirely possible. And we could definitely do with a toolbox. Or a sharpness stone. That would be lovely. Oh, do you remember back in the day when you'd sit up here and just snipe the puppets from afar? Oh yeah, we were going to have a look. Look, this is my mind, everybody. So, settings. I think it's in features, maybe? Nope, it's not in features, not in the slightest. So let's go back to world. Ah, here we go. Nighttime darkness. Now, I think intensity, the lower it is, the brighter it gets. So, if we go down to one, apply, and oh, we need to come out, back, resume. 
So, hang fire everybody. This is going to be a nice little jump cut. But all I'm going to do is come out of the game and go back in so this takes effect. And it'd be interesting to see how bright the night is. According to the settings anyway. So, be right back. Alright, we're back. See, didn't take long at all. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be so much harder to see these zombies, especially the beepers. I feel like I'm just going to be stressed the entire time. But, this is the first big POI that we've come to, which allows us to assess zombie numbers, I suppose. Now, remember, they can't jump through windows, but they can knock the doors down. So on the whole, we want to be reasonably quiet still. Let's have a sneaky peek in here first. Oh, hello. Oh, that's such a good find. Am I wearing any pants? Yes, I am wearing pants. What shirt am I wearing? Oh. Nah, we're okay with that shirt. We'll leave that here. And the Bushman is... Good for fitting in your... Oh, we'll take that. I'll leave that. <laughs> Where is everybody? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... They've literally just spawned him right on my butt! She literally just spawned right behind me! Oh, that was a good shot. Dang. They haven't fixed that though, have they, with a POI? Now, I haven't been testing this since I did the airfield. Oh, it's getting dark real quick. I'm going to leave those for a minute. And what I found, if you watch my testing videos, is that the minute I interacted with something, like a door... They spawned around you and very, very close to you. Don't seem to do that in the towns, but obviously doing it here. Dang. Look at them. They definitely weren't there before, were they? And they're going to spawn back in five minutes anyway, aren't they? Yeah, because she spawned outside the fence. Oh, this is... I can hear one in my left ear. There. Come here then. I need to get to those bodies before they despawn. Oh, there's definitely, there's definitely plenty here. Whoa! Okay. That's new. I wonder if we can still call them. Should we try? Because we used to do this all the time. We used to make a noise, get them to us, and then that would take care of them, right? So let's have a look.
Oh. <laughs> well, we get to see a horde. Maybe. Seriously? Is it just you guys? I thought them guys over there would break their way out. Look. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, well, she heard that. So let's see if she bashes her way out, shall we? So she should. Oh, no. You know what I've done. Or what I haven't done, to be more precise. Oh, no. How many got down there? Three. That didn't call very much. They could all be stuck inside thinking about it. So what I've done, everybody, I'm sorry. God, I should have done this before. I apologize. What I have to do is continuously change the settings to suit other persons who also play on Scum. Which includes turning the pup beepers off, Turning the doors and the windows off. Dang. I'm sorry. We'll go back out and we'll come back as if nothing had happened. Even though we wasted a couple of bullets. So. Beepers on. Puppets going to open doors. Keeping the sentries off for the time being. And the other thing I need to do is turn the lockers on. Apply. Say that that's kept. Is that saved? Off. On. Yes. Ah, oh, peeps. All right. Old fires. Another cut. There's another cut, and they're all going to disappear, and then they're going to all instantly respawn. <laughs> now I bet you they're not going to spawn in until I go and like open a door or something. Got some uh, texture issues. Oh wait, it says one. So they should now, if I trigger anything, they should now bash down doors. Oh look! Oh, you cheeky. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stop moving so I can shoot you in the face. So, okay. So we got... One all the way over there. It seems a bit easier to see now that the sun's gone down. But this is proper bright. Who needs MVGs? Oh! Right, he's outside the fence and he's normal. I bet you the beepers are all going to be in there. He's all the way over there, so I'm not going to worry about him either. Oh yeah, we don't actually need to worry about MVGs. I'll tell you what, if we find MVGs, I'll turn the darkness back down. Does that sound like a deal? I'm sorry, this episode's been such a bloody mess. I'm expecting the half moons to be slightly chaotic though, so hopefully I make up for it. Because those, the original amount of puppets was a decent amount, I think. Take the money. Take that. 
I'm not going to worry about in there for the minute. Wait, where did he come from? It's gonna look like a bloody pincushion he is. Oh, it's an untold amount. I could just hear like multiple giggling. Who definitely weren't giggling before. That. It's like an echo. I bet you. No. I bet you're in there. Look. Look. What in the shit? Right, just, should we see? Should we see? This is more going to be more of an experiment than actually looting now. Whoa! Don't you dare make it up here. Oh, no, there's the horde. Oh, God! I kind of all want you to come to the same spot. Yes, all come outside so the beeper can blow you up. Holy... Well, you can't say that there weren't plenty of puppets in. So Mr. Beeper is just there. You can just about see his right arm. And I'm hoping... That he'll take out some of those that are next to him without taking me out. Oh look, they came running out of there and everything. Oh, can you blow up? Please blow up. Ah, oh. except the big fatties. But they should be weakened now. Thank you for taking his place. Except these ones, because they were around the corner. Oh my god. Jeez, how many arrows have you got sticking out of your head? Oh my. Oh my god, that was insane. Anybody for anybody else? Oh my god. Anybody else got any more of my arrows? Alright, we're just going to search. And Beeper absolutely mullered. Oh, have I got one? I've got one. Ooh. Is this just going to be close? I haven't, I don't think I've even been to this boot camp since they redid the... Yeah, it's just going to be close. Right. I'm going to leave that for the minute because I have no idea when these are going to respawn. Oh, shut the front door. I mean, literally shut the front door. There he is.
where? Well. Tell me you can see that. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> you can see all of those that just came trotting around the side. Tell me you saw that on the right. So, like, what was it? Just a few puppets. 70%. Right, well, we're not infected, so I'm not going to worry too much. There was... There was a good, like, three or four puppets, right? And they all came trotting. Look at them. Little shit. How do you guys even do this? And I'm pretty sure I've got it on the maximum spawn as well. Timer-wise. Is this what you guys have to put up with all the time? Look at him. At least you can see. Do you remember the, uh, the old... And I did it on my server that I had way back when. Look at them all. Back in the day when we were like, can you please shut the doors? <laughs> oh, I wish I could... Oh, I could do with going in there now. So they still do the zombie dance. That's still a thing. Stop that. I didn't mean for you to do that, but that's fine. It gives us a good look out. So if I now jog back to that first half moon, will they have respawned? I'm thinking probably. Yeah, do you remember when everybody's like, can you please shut the doors? And now the zombies just freaking leave them open anyway. Was there nobody in that one? I don't trust it, see? I will Look! Why can't they just spawn in to start with? That's what I'd like to know. Look! Look at him! I s seriously, I'm probably going to die. What is he aggravated by? Look at him. Look. Look. The aggressive spawn isn't on. Look, and he's on to me now. Do one, puppet. So if you're basically in here for too long... Oh, this is... Oh, this is... Gonna go horribly wrong! <laughs> I haven't actually lured. This whole episode is me being shit at scum. And a total pussy. Excuse my language, but seriously. Yeah, you. Come here. 
And it doesn't matter, actually, at this point, if I even snipe them, because they're just going to keep jogging in my direction every two minutes. At this point, I feel like a bunker would be easier than this place. I just... Yeah. This is just going to be a complete advertisement for how much I suck at this game. And how much of a scaredy cat I am. Because they just... Spawning and honing in. I'm glad we turned the night time up though so you can see what I'm seeing. Right. You wait. I'm gonna walk. Nice and calm. Ooh, good find. I want MVGs. That's all I want, actually, at this point. Because I actually think it would be easier to do a bunker. Shit, I literally just walked that way and he wasn't there. I'm not searching anybody. <laughs> Fuck! How do they even know? Please climb the ladder. Please climb the ladder. So they... I'm sure, I'm sure I shut that door after me. Look at him. Look. Oh, it's just someone called Horde. Yep, okay. They're, so it's still doing that. <laughs> How? How do you guys... How do you guys even manage this? Right, I'm going in here so I'm out of sight. And then they'll de-aggro and fuck off, hopefully. I mean, it's not like I'm taking that long a time to search, either. How long was I in actually in the half beam for? A minute? I really need to time this. This is going to be an episode of doing absolutely nothing. And I'm... I'm so annoyed. Because you're going to watch this and go, this episode was a pile of dog shit. Look at him. And now I'm effectively stuck up a tower. <laughs> I just... I'm so annoyed right now because this is just an episode of... Me running away from tons of zombies, basically. Who are respawning. And finding me... As well. So I was quiet... I wasn't doing anything, and I didn't hear the bang, bang, bang of them banging that door down either. So you'd hear them going, look. You can be deaf as a post.
but they've got 20-20 vision. Yeah, I'm so annoyed because it's such a crap episode, isn't it? I've literally got nothing done. All I've done is run from a town, change the settings a bit, and then come in here. Look, where is he going? Yeah, it's literally an episode of me doing absolutely naff all. Right? Because, and if I turn the zombies down, it's then an equally shit experience. I'd say the zombie numbers are definitely okay and definitely enough. This non-aggressive home finding cell spawning bullshit I'm sorry I'm having a proper old rant <laughs> it's just that it's BS because you sp you stand in one spot even just a little bit too long and you've got I suppose in a POI you've got and I'm not talking about a long period of time either how is he even seeing me All right, we'll lie down. Look, how is he? Look! Right, let's just do this. This is just an advert for, look, this one here. Still quite how broken the game is. And wasn't the whole spawning on rooftops supposed to have been fixed now? Do you think he's ever going to get unstuck? Yeah, I mean, what do you do? Because even if you clear them, within literally like two minutes, they respawn. I don't want to turn the beepers off. I want to keep them on. I want the level, I want the puppet levels as they are because it gives you a better experience in the towns and the farms. Although the drops are insane, but, you know, it is what it is. Thank God they took the beepers out of that too. But this, honestly, is bull. And you're going to moan at me. You're going to, you're going to, Say, oh, well, just put your big girl pants on. But how are you supposed to get anything done? Possibly shouldn't have come up here because now I'm bloody stuck up here now. And the only thing that's actually going to be possible... Look at them all. The only thing that's actually going to be possible now is that when this episode finishes, which I'm probably going to do in a few minutes... Is that they'll all disappear. I'll be able to climb down this ladder quickly, leg it to an exit before they all respawn back in. Because how do you search anything? And I'm pretty sure I've got everything up to maximum. So the maximum amount of time that it takes to clear uh, what's a... And I believe this is a high threat zone, right? Look, where is it going? Do you think he's just going to run all the way through and back out the other end? Should we see? This is like another testing video, but part of my series. But this shit is just ruining the game because you can't get nothing done. And this isn't, I don't enjoy this amount of zombies because I bloody well do. This is the amount of zombies I actually want to see roam in the place. What I don't want to have to do is clear them, and within two minutes, they respawn, instantly know where you are. Gently open the door without letting you know, and voila, you're done for. Basically. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, 
I feel like I should scrap the episode, but at the same time, I kind of want you to see what it's like. And this is in single player. And I haven't experienced this in any multiplayer yet. At this point, I don't care if they see me. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not speaking because I'm just a little bit... I'm miffed. I wanted to create... What was going to be a really good episode of me creeping around. Of me creeping around this place. But you can't even creep because they instantly, they, I don't know, what, 50%, 25% of them instantly know where you are. Where are you going? And you, you little bastard, stay where you are so you can blow everybody up. I excuse. Sorry, I'm sorry for my language, everybody. I'm just so cross at this point. bullets <sighs> yeah I just uh, look, what is he doing down there They should be weakened by the explosion. Right, this might actually be my chance, possibly, to run away. They're on the outside. Although, I suppose, another wee little test, right? So we're going to be nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Close that door. Got to take that. Should have looked. At, I should have had a kept an eye on the timer. Right. I'm not gonna bother looking in those lockers. Actually. Oh, it's a horse. There you go. What was that? What would you have said that was? Dang. Look at him. Let's just see. Where do they go to? That corner 
She's going to get stuck on the corner there anyway. I just... So you got to be quiet. Do you do... do you, I mean, what do you guys do? Are you quiet? Are you quiet and slow? In which case they just respawn around you every five seconds. Well, it wasn't five seconds. What is that? Two minutes? I have to time that in editing. And where did Missy in the corner go to? Right? Go. Oh, get. <sighs> I think I lost a bunch of arrows as well. I did lose a bunch of arrows. Or do you go hell for leather? Go proper, proper quick, but you're really, really loud at the same time. What do you do? What do you do when you're doing this place and you're on a server that's this heavily populated with the zombies spawning around you every, I don't know, 90 seconds? Two minutes? Look, look, look! Ooh, I'm taking that too. Who needs to go in the half moon? <laughs> I just, yeah, I mean, what do you do? It's exactly like the airfield, maybe, that the open spaces are okay. Shall we see? But the half moons are just freaking insane. Look. Look at him. Look at him. Wait for it. So. Look at him. Look, and these just literally walked out that feckin' bush. Look. So the beeper is also under instructions to come and seek you out. Oh, it's not aggressive. They're just seeking out the home cell, which happens to fucking have you in it. Look, where are they going? <laughs> you walk five meters and you trip. Look at him. Moonwalk forwards. Look, and then they're aggroed, but how could they possibly know that I'm here unless. Oh, look. A horde is called. Oh, but look, the beepers aren't part of the horde. Oh, that's interesting. But they hear that. Yeah. This is just like, coming to a POI like this is just a testing video now, isn't it? Really. <sighs> I guess we found some more 9 mil, I suppose. Should be thankful for that, right? Let's bunch you up. Let's bunch you up where I want you to be. Just right underneath my feet. Do you think two beepers will take them all out? I've got to time this. I mean, I timed the episode anyway, but I'm not looking at the seconds and stuff that quickly. I, this is. So, I'm so sorry. I'm really, really, really very sorry for such a shit episode. <laughs> I've, I'm so mad. survived that. Right, quick, 
quick, quick, quick, quick. Right, time. 55, 30, right. So that's where I was. I'm so glad I... Oh, I'm taking those. I'm so glad I turned this up now. Oh, I'm going to take those as well. Right, I'm not going to take anything out, actually. I'm just going to do this as fast as humanly possible. Badly. I suppose it's just... The minute I see here giggling, we know that they've... They've come back in, right? You couldn't do that with mechs, though. Ooh, it's a black one. Taking it. Fucking horse. Loads of AKS ammo. Oddly. I know it's worth stuff at the traders, but I've only got so much room. Compass, that's going to come in handy. No, there's me saying I'm not going to take anything. Gilly, no. Shut that bastard door. Right. Now, because I haven't triggered anything, maybe, because that's now been like three minutes. I don't get it. Someone educate me. Not about the whole homing in like a fucking deranged pigeon thing, but... Because we know why they do it now. How is it they respawn really fast? The first two or three times? And now they're not spawning in at all. Why couldn't they have done this in the first place? Just saying. I wonder if I had to have this massive rant that makes me look like an asshole. Oh, I should take that flare, actually, shouldn't I? I know I'm not joining anything either. I'm taking up unnecessary room. On a mild, blind, blind panic, actually, I suppose. That was good. Is that a, a bear, maybe? Oh, it's like, oh, I'm wearing one of those. I don't, and another one? I don't know where I'm putting this stuff. I does it run out? Do they does it does the does the POI run out of puppets? Oh gas mask. Oh, okay. I think I'd like an SF nineteen if I'm honest. Do 
so this is we I'm st I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'm gonna find a rooftop. Bloody hell! There's ghillie suit everywhere. Ooh, it's a green one. I don't understand it. How do you get three? Three? Was it three or four? I don't know. Successive. Oh, now we're full. Respawns. And now it's dead. I wonder if I go anywhere near these bloody half moons, it starts all over again. Should we see? I know I'm running over now, but I dump. There it is. So, how long was that? So, that was like. I'm going to go up here. Because I want to see what they do. Look! So that... That was a lot... Oh, there's a gun in there. That was a lot longer. But how many instantly sort me out? Look. I was thinking of going in there as well. Look, and now... So, look. 2020 vision, of course. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Instantly hone in. Non-aggressively, of course. I wonder how long there is a delay. Because we know there's a delay on the horde call. Look. Don't need to use that. <laughs> There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe it's just a delay at a POI. No, because we had this in my testing video, didn't we? Ay, ay, ay. So the last couple of episodes have been a lot of fun. Look at them. The last few episodes have been a lot of fun because maybe we've just been around a town. So they've been behaving sort of relatively normal. Um, and then here we come here and all the you know, shit hits the fan. And I know I'm running over now. And all you're doing is listen to me rant. And watch an episode where I kind of did next to nothing. But. So they're respawning. I don't know. Within. Twi uh, I don't know. Say 90 seconds. Ish. And then, look at him. Do they all look? To the left of me. And to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. They all look moving as one. And 15 become one. <laughs> Idiots. Oh, it's so much louder. Right, let's go and see what's in here. Oh, no. Oh, all right. We need to sort our stuff out. Let's eat. No, nope, because... Right, you know what? I'm doing... I'm... <laughs> I'm doing away with it. <laughs> Should we just eat the rest of this? See if our body will take it. Whilst I rant some, some more. Yeah, you, I, mm, you guys out there, guys, gals, out there who are the dogs danglies uh, doing this with the mechs on in PvP. Oh my god, I couldn't even. I'm quite happy to admit I'm definitely not the best in this game. But I thought it was okay. But how do you combat this? Yeah, okay, I could use my bow and arrow, but I'd need, like, 100 arrows, wouldn't you? Because the minute you go and try and get your bloody arrows back from the bodies, they respawn again. 
So if you're quiet, you're slow. If you're fast, you're loud. So we had, I don't know how many successive respawns, and then we got enough time to clear both the courtyards. Go figure. You don't get much in the way of uh, calories from a pumpkin, do you? Look at our energy. Right, let's, let's rearrange our shinners whilst we talk. So, yeah, I mean, I've, oh, I don't know. I want the puppets to stay the number that they're at, right? I want it to be this many zombies, but their behavior makes it extremely difficult to do anything within an hour. We should wear that, actually. It takes up a lot less room than my wee little hat. And I've got another gun stash somewhere. There it is. We actually got... We've actually got room. I don't know how, but we have. I... But then if I stick to uh, the towns and the villages and the farms, it gets boring for you. You want to see excitement. You want to see me running around like a loony bin. Potentially get my ass handed to me. It's just it's more of a pain in the neck to get back to your body. And with no money or gold. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's starting all over. And I really want to get a car up and running. Not that I think a car here would actually help. Because I don't think it would. I don't know, peeps. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys do? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, okay. Wait. What am I wearing? Equip. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, please. We've actually got a fair bit of room left. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, if I log out, that's going to be... It's going to go... Should we go... <laughs> How many arrows have we got left? Come on, because I bugged out of the last one. I've got ten arrows. But I do have a couple of flares. <laughs> and we're back. I wasn't even paying attention. What would we say? Two minutes? This looks fantastic. I love how many zombies are here right now. Of course you need a pee. Of course you do. Can you please go in the door? Thank you. Oh, we're gonna oh I'll tell you what, we're gonna peep and we're gonna pee and poop. Let's see if we poop anything out. I love how many zombies there are in this POI. I absolutely <laughs> love it and I don't excuse the sounds. I don't even <laughs> I don't even mind how many beepers there are. I really don't. What I despise at the minute is the behavior. The respawn timers are stupid and their behavior of instantly spawning in and finding you is also stupid. Oh, we pooped out a compass. Cup of chicken nuggets. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Hopefully it fell on your head. Oh man. That drop is a walk though. And I don't even have any room. I'm going to miss another one. It's okay. We'll get, we'll get, there'll be a drop in the next episode. There will. Hey. Why can't it just be like this? This is what I want to know. Why can't it just be like this? Okay, so they spot you. Why can't they just be roaming? And I mean, imagine this, but all over. So this entire PI would have some... PI? POI would have something like... Look at him, the little shit. Hundred? Hundred zombies in it, maybe. All sort of relatively spaced out like they are right now. And just at 
absolutely everywhere, like you see in the movies and like, you know, Fear the Walking Dead, Walking Dead and so on. And they're all kind of spaced out, doing their own thing or wandering around in a wee little group. They wouldn't have 20-20 vision, I'd like to add that. That... Where's Mr. Beeper gone? Is he walked around the corner already or did he walk through... I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's just... Okay, let's end this. I'm going to end it by saying sorry for a really quite a pants episode. Thank you if bloody hell you've made it this far. Fair play. I'm impressed. And three, how have you found it? If your zombie lev numbers are this level, how do you find doing a POI like this that isn't a bunker, because the bunkers do behave slightly differently now that they've put separate timers in. Let me know. Let me know. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a thumbs down. Because <laughs> let's face it, the episode's been a bit crap. And I haven't really done very much apart from yell and complain and whine. And I've completely lost my big girl pants and I don't care. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Alright? <laughs> but I will say, if you have made this this far, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy and take care. Thank you.